Welcome to Stacker News. What did you miss last week in web dev? Last week, someone quit Google. We learned authentication in five steps and got involved in open source. In this video, I'll highlight my favorite creators from last week, and maybe you'll discover some new content that you didn't know about. But there's even more news in the Stacker News newsletter. Click the link in the description below to sign up. And even if you don't want to sign up, you can still access all of the links mentioned in this video. This is Stacker News. First up in top news, NPM version 8.0 was released, TypeScript 4.5 beta, and Cloudflare R2 storage looks really cool. On to the VS Code extension of the week. If you want to quickly add some flair to your code with emojis, you need to check out this extension. Emojisense adds suggestions and autocomplete for emojis to VS Code. Now let's take a look at some events coming up. Oktoberfest 2021 will be going on all October long. This year should be a little smoother than last year since there are some great rules in place to prevent the crazy spam that we got last year. We also have two great conferences coming up in October. Whether you're a React developer or a Vue.js developer, we have Vue.js Live and React Advanced London coming up October 20th, 21st, 22nd, and 25th. There are 20% off discount codes in the newsletter. And then we have DevFest North America, which will be November 19th and 20th. Now this is a virtual and free event and I'll be speaking there. So don't miss it. Go ahead and register now. Here are last week's videos in no particular order. We have another dev story from Bukola where she interviews developers with unique stories. In this one, she interviews Edesola Sanusi who left her PM role at Google to do something different. Go check it out to hear her story. And check out this video from Keep On Coding where he goes over 50 definitions every programmer should know. In this video from Dave Jacobson, you'll learn the steps that you need to take in order to become an iOS developer. If you missed my video from last week, we added basic user login and authentication to a Next.js app using Auth0 and their Next.js SDK. Auth0 is the easiest way for developers to add authentication and build secure applications. So go check it out. And what do you do when a client won't tell you their budget? Well, check out this video from Dennis Ivey to see what he recommends. Philip Lackner doesn't use Firebase anymore. And Ben Awad is leaving his startup to start a new startup. If you want to learn how to get involved in open source with Hacktoberfest and change the world one pull request at a time, check out this GitHub short. Brad Traversy and Kyle Prinsloo have teamed up and launched an amazing freelance course. Don't miss out, there's still special pricing for the remainder of this week. Now on to articles, podcasts, and socials. A great article that I came across on Dev2 was Skeleton Screen Loading Animation Using HTML and CSS. Check this out to learn some cool loading animations. For podcasts, give the latest JS Party episode a lesson. They talk about building GraphQL backends with Nest.js. Over on Twitter, George Moeller posts some really cool infographics. This one gives you a visual of all of the CSS border styles. Be sure to go give him a follow for more great content like this. Again, there's more content in the newsletter. The link is in the description below. If you missed last week's episode, go ahead and check that one out as well. I hope this was helpful. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.